Well, President Joe Biden visited Baltimore today to tout a $6 billion project to upgrade a rail tunnel that millions of people rely on every year. We are talking about the Baltimore Potomac Tunnel that Mark and Amtrak commuters use every day. The tunnel now has a new name, by the way, the Frederick Douglass Tunnel. And WJZ is live. Avajoy Burnett is along Maryland Avenue in Falls Road, where the president made the announcement today. Avajoy. Hi, Denise. Well, this is significant because millions of people use this tunnel as they travel on trains every single year, and it is a major bottleneck. The tunnel is 150 years old, and so the president was here earlier today to announce these changes, and this is something that he knows personally because as a U.S. senator, he traveled this route many times from Washington, D.C. to Delaware. Hello, Baltimore. President Joe Biden made a pit stop in Baltimore today to announce a $6 billion investment to upgrade a train tunnel that's a notorious East Coast bottleneck. Mark trains will go from here to Washington in 30 minutes. The 150 year old mile long tunnel near Penn Station runs under neighborhoods and portions of West Baltimore. When work is done here, trains could go as fast as 110 miles an hour, as opposed to the 30 miles per hour that they run right now because of the steep twists and turns inside the tunnel. The White House described the tunnel as the largest bottleneck between Washington, D.C. and New Jersey because the trains are delayed 99% of the time every weekday. The structure is deteriorating, the roof is leaking, the floor is sinking. This is the United States of America, for God's sake. We know better than that. The administration said once work is done, capacity will triple and upgrades will include a new tunnel, two new tubes, roadway and railroad bridges, along with safety features. Funding from the infrastructure bill that passed in Congress last year will pay for a bulk of the project. It's also expected to bring 20,000 construction jobs. When you do something like this and spend money on creating jobs, improving quality of life, improving in infrastructure, uh, it's just a positive issue. The Baltimore Potomac Tunnel, relied upon by Mark and Amtrak as a conduit for millions of travelers every year, will now be called the Frederick Douglass Tunnel, after the famous abolitionist who escaped Maryland for his freedom. That name was not given by accident, because we're talking about an acknowledgement and a celebration of someone who believed that we don't have time to do right, that the time to do right is now. And some basic work has already been done on this multi year project. And according to the White House, Amtrak will be uh, investing $50 million for workforce development, such as apprenticeship programs, so that people will be able to tap into these really good paying jobs. Live at 6, Avajoy Burnett for WJC. Exciting. Thank yeah. you, Avajoy. Well,